All right, here is the first of a series of lessons on chords. To make any of the major chords on a banjo, you only need three finger shapes. You need the bar, where you cover all four strings, one, two, three, and four, with one finger. There is the F shape. Let me get that a little closer. Where your pinky is on string one at fret three, your ring finger is on string four at fret three, middle finger is on string three at fret two, and index finger is on string two fret one. Now you want to make sure that your fingertips are coming down as perpendicularly to the plane of the fretboard as possible so you don't get this. Hear this? And now get a nice clean sweet tone with your fingers not interfering with adjacent strings. Now to make the D shape now I'm up here at fret four, the highest fret that we use. You simply take your F shape and tweak it a little bit. You reverse your index and middle fingers. So the index goes from string two to string three, and the middle finger goes from string three to fret, uh, to string two. And this is a good exercise. Practice going back and forth, and then when you have that pretty comfortably, then you go from F shape to D shape. So every time I go up one fret, I switch to the next shape. F shape, D shape, F shape, D shape, and so forth. Now, why are these chords important? Melody notes are always found in or around the chords. So if, as it has been described, three finger picking is chord arpeggiation, that is, that's a chord, that's the chord arpeggiated, then without chords, you ain't got nothing to arpeggiate. Now, using just these shapes, the F shape, the D shape, the bar, I can play a whole song. Let's uh, think of one here. Um, all right, Wildwood Flower. <laughs> 